from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawantaron, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. You send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the house of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume, but Judas Issachrit, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii, and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, who he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus.
trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord, who will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Happy are those who find wisdom, and those who get understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. O God of our salvation, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise so that all may share the good things you provide. God, our strength, Hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill to the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. God, our strength, Hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Eternal God, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, so that we may give ourselves today in love and service to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen.